Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from India are The country has rejected the statement by Pakistan on behalf of the organization of the Islamic cooperation relating to Jammu and Kashmir, saying that the OIC has no locus standi on India's internal affairs. On behalf of OIC, Pakistan had blamed India for human rights violations in Kashmir and accused it for denying them the right to self-determination. The sports ministry has accepted the Olympic Task Force's recommendation. According to it, a stipend of 50,000 rupees per month will be provided to elite athletes preparing for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, Asian Games or the Commonwealth Games to meet pocket expenses. Rahul Gandhi may take charge as Congress president through an internal election process. As early as next month, senior party leader M. B. Rappa Morley has entered. Rahul had recently said that he was absolutely ready to take up an executive responsibility if the party asked him to do so. The Supreme Court has issued a series of directions for prevention of suicide and custodial death of prisoners and compensation for the kin of inmates who died an unnatural death after 2012. It noted that the dignity of the individual is not a plaything for those in authority. Congress leader P. Chidambaram has asked accused the CBI of spreading misinformation and asked the agency to question him instead of harassing his son Karthi Chidambaram. A day earlier, Karthi had refused to appear before the CBI in a case related to the air sale Max's deal. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee has expressed concern over Rohingya refugee crisis. She has extended support to the UN appeal to help the embattled community. Nearly 391,000 Rohingya refugees have arrived in Bangladesh since violence broke out in western Myanmar's Rakhine state on 25th August. The central government will soon introduce linking of Aadhaar with driving licenses. This is in a bid to check the menace of multiple driving licenses being issued to individuals. Aam Aadmi Party will contest the upcoming municipal corporation elections in Uttar Pradesh. Aam Aadmi Party leader Sanjay Singh told the media that his party was committed to weeding out corruption from civic bodies and giving people good governance. Former Indian cricket team player Virendra Sehwag has taken a dig at the BCCI and the current head coach Ravi Shastri. Sehwag said that he was not picked for the coaching job because he did not have any setting in the BCCI. Bollywood actress Kangana Ranaut, often caught in controversies due to her outspoken nature, says that she's not a man-hater. She also said that she hopes to see a society which does not need feminism. Stay tuned to Indian Times Daily as the news from America, Gujarat and Punjab follows.